uh, Jim and Anissa, they've been in our church for uh, some time now, and uh, it's been just, uh, it's been a joy to see how the Lord has been working in their heart and life, and uh, Jim has prepared his testimony. He wanted to share that with you this morning. Good morning, everybody. Mine's a three-parter. Uh, first part is the beginning of my life. I used to spend summers with my grandmother and grandfather, and my grandmother introduced me to Christ and the church. She introduced me to be humble to Christ. When you walked into her house, you took the blessing of the holy water, you went down to one knee, and you prayed and said how thankful you were for Christ. Thankful that whatever you had that day. Of course, for me as a child, it was a sunny day, no rain, and I could be outside all day. Later in my life, in the second part, I had a very special person enter my life. His name was Specialist Bailey when I served in the Army. Bailey always had a Bible in his cargo pocket, and he always said to me, Conahan, I think this is a good time to read the old book. And he would read scripture with me, and we would debate on what it meant to each other at that time. I got to experience with Bailey at Southern Baptist Church in Kentucky. No air conditioning, couple ceiling fans. Before today, the best choir I ever heard in my life. <laughs> These people could sing. When you left that church, you felt that God had put this armor on you from head to toe, that you could take on anything. I never felt that before. It was an amazing experience spending my time with Bailey. But now I come to my third part, later in my life, and I've been a Catholic as long as I can remember. I grew up Catholic, I went to Bible school, I made all my days of obligations, but I started to get this feeling inside more and more, and I asked myself, am I safe? Am I saved? I started to talk to Christ out loud on my walks and why I sorted the mail. I started to ask, shouldn't I have that safe feeling that if I die right now, mm. whew, sorry, mm. if I die right now knowing that I'll be in God's kingdom forever, that feeling and that voice kept getting louder. So I said to my wife, it's time that we think outside the box, step outside the Catholic church and look for something new. And my wife, she can research. <laughs> and she found this church. And she found your history of this church. <laughs> and she looks at your first page of what you guys commit to. And she's like, oh yeah, this is it. So we went to this church, and then I walked with Brother Corey. We took a walk, six miles, never sweated so much in all my life, <laughs> breathing so hard, and we're just talking away. And I just found a place in my side, inside, a voice saying, okay, things are getting better. But lately, I've had this same voice now screaming in my head, uh, annoying as sometimes as it was, and it kept saying to me, this is the step because you love Christ, and the path you want continues and starts with this, and the peace you seek will come. And that's the one thing I've been searching for is peace all my life, that peace inside that people say they get with Christ. And I just thought, I'll grow up Catholic, and I'll have that peace, but I never had that peace. Inside, I fought for that peace, and I just kept thinking I'm doing it wrong. I'm praying wrong. I'm reading the Bible wrong. I'm not committing right to church correctly. I'm not doing what I should do. So this is the step I'm taking, hoping that I can find the peace that I'm searching for. Thank you. Amen. Jim, you love the Lord? You're going to follow him the rest of your life. And it's based upon your profession of faith and Jesus Christ as your personal Savior that I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.